first cheers cheers, cheers. it's been a it's been a long week there's yeah. a tax deadline upon us i don't know why we always do these things uh around tax deadlines but um how are you doing uh same as you just stressed out all the time until 10 15 my birthday and then we'll be good all right so not 10 15 p.m 10 10 15 if I make it to 10.15 tonight, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so the goal is always that we've been working on this for years. So just, you know, this conversation is a little about internal firm stuff. And uh, I think management and us trying to, you know, be, I was going to say better leaders, but sometimes like just got to figure out how to be a leader and how to how to get people to improve performance and, and, and all that stuff. I mean, all stuff that like business owners kind of deal with. Um, I'm curious, like you've taken on a much more people management role over the last year. We've had tax headlines forever. You've been a part of it. Yeah. Um, what's different, you know, this year versus previous years for you? Oh man, a lot, a lot. You know, yeah. I was a solo contributor. I was in sales. So sign someone up, make sure they're getting taken care of on the delivery side. And it's pretty much it. I didn't have to have the headaches of profitability of having, you know, 20 different people's personalities come out when they're stressed. Um, you know, really it's gone from just making sure I sell, 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 get us clients and that they're happy to making sure our own people are happy. And mm. I didn't realize how important quick feedback is, you know, when something's done wrong, like call it out nicely. Like you don't have to shame someone for doing something wrong, but fix, let them know, give them the feedback right away. So then they know and they can course correct. But on the flip side of that, you got to tell them when they're doing good every single time. Yeah. You know, when, when my guys make a sale, I'm cheering for them. I'm excited for them. You know, when our account manager gets a good NPS score from one of our customers, I make sure to call her out in front of everyone. Um, recently with the all hands meetings that we've been doing, I've been trying to, you know, just call out people for doing things that relate to our company's core values, just so everyone could see, Hey, like these things are noticed. Um, yeah. So that, that's been interesting. Just dealing with people has been the biggest change for sure. So, sounds like you've been giving a whole lot. <laughs> well, now I know how you've been feeling this whole time. <laughs> well, uh, I'm definitely glad I have you. And uh, I think spreading out some of that stress is, um, I, know, I know it's stressful for you. Um, do you feel like you get good feedback? You feel like it could be better? So, I mean, when I first joined this company, you were my source of feedback. I only reported to you. Yeah. And, you know, sucks. for better or for worse, <laughs> I was getting <laughs> that feedback. It's a different type of feedback now when someone under you who you manage or, you know, maybe you change a certain process and now people are saying, hey, that worked really well. Thank you for doing that. Hey, I appreciate you teaching me. Yeah. It's a whole different sense of feedback than you being like, hey, Ashton, that was a really dumb thing you did. <laughs> maybe do it this way next time, you yeah. know? Yeah. And, and it's funny, like, there's this, uh, one of my, uh, my, my Vistage coach, um, he always asked a good question. He says, what would you like to see more of? What would you like to see less of? And, and he asked that about like from, from his, what he does. Mm -hmm. And it's good because it makes you pause a little bit. And it's a good question to say like, like, what do I suck at? You know, or like, what, what don't you like that we do together? It's like, what do you want to see less of? It's like, oh man, I, I like less internal meetings or whatever. So it, it's kind of a good question to get feedback up because you never realize you're so busy giving people feedback. Yeah. You're like, wait a minute, am I a good manager? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of uh, insecurities that come when you turn into a manager because it's not just like, hey, am I making myself better? Am I getting commission? Am I giving the company revenue? It's like, Am I making sure that she's growing? Am I making sure that he's happy? You know, if someone has a bad day, I'm like, shit, are they going to quit? <laughs> you know, like it's a whole different type of stress. Oh, yeah. it's a. And people do quit. I know. And it's really stressful. <laughs> and uh, there, there actually was, let's just get real. So someone left earlier this year. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Was our tough. shining star. That was tough. <laughs> we, were, we were ready to kick our feet up and. <laughs> You know, Give her the whole practice. <laughs> him or her. You him or her. You don't know who you are. <laughs> um, what was that like, losing someone important on the team, and how did you make peace with that? Yeah, so the it was hard in two aspects. One mm -hmm. is she was a friend. Like, she was someone who you took under her 
his or her. It's a her. All right, Miguel took her under his wing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm not going to go back and forth with he or her this whole okay, time. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we invested so much time. And it wasn't just that she had great potential. She was really good at her job. She had a bright future. You know, she was going to take over this practice, which thus relieving us of some of our duties in the practice as well to free us to do the more strategic you know, company, big picture things. Yeah. But we lost a friend. We lost a sister, you know, yeah. like she cried when she told me I cried a little <laughs> bit. Like it sucked. It just really sucked. Cause like, I loved interacting with her every day. You know, I yeah. loved making little jokes, you know, learning about her personalized, what she did th that weekend. And yeah. having that gone, you know, you lose a friend. Yeah. And we learned a new word, the R word, <laughs> retention. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what does it mean to keep someone? And sometimes I think, like, what's interesting is um, you would think that at the end of the day, a lot of people want an easy job, you know? And I think what I learned is you always have to have a path painted of what the next level is, and it needs to be a long term path, and you have to get rewarded along the way. So, um, I think it was a lesson for us and man, I, I think it was kind of a sign for us to really lock in some policy because I think what people really crave is, is structure. And when you've got an entrepreneurial mindset, you're just like grow, grow, grow. So, you mm -hmm. know, it's interesting because you went from a sales role where you're just like, let's just get money to like, wait a minute, like we need to keep people happy, we need to keep people growing, we need to stay profitable, completely changed. So. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you. It's really tough. And I think like what a lot of people are talking about now is like, Hey, we've got all stars on the team. What are we doing to make sure that they don't go away? Yeah. I think that like leads into culture, which is like soft, squishy stuff. But like, I'm curious what you've learned going from like, I just care about making my number to like, wow, are people happy? Are they going to quit? Like, are we creating a family? how am I ever going to recover from losing this person? <laughs> you know, like yeah. what, what have you learned about culture and, and like, what are some things you do to keep culture alive and well? Well, I've learned culture is really easy when it's just me, you and a couple of contractors. Cause that's what it was for the longest time. Yeah. We all vibed the exact same way. We all didn't care about the chaos. We lived in the chaos. We knew, Hey, we're just doing this because we genuinely like what we're doing. We like who we work with. We know we're good at what we do. But then as you grow, as you get more clients, you you start identifying different gaps. You're like, hey, if we just had this one other person, that would solve all these client issues. And then you hire that person, you keep growing. You're like, okay, now we actually need these two other people. So now you're building people. You're bringing new people into your corporation who you can only interview so much. You can only find out about a person so much, yeah, you know? everyone's going to be their top perfect self, even their fake self during the first, during the interview. I fooled you into hiring me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're not going to be their yeah, true self did. until three, four months down the road. And then you notice like, Hey, this joke I said three months ago, isn't hitting anymore. People aren't laughing <laughs> like they used to. Okay. Maybe we shouldn't say that. Maybe there should be policies around that. What do people, what is acceptable? With yeah, all I just want to be clear. People? You've, you've never been funny. All right. First off, we both know that's a lie. <laughs> Don't make me tell you all the R jokes <laughs> that I have. Um, well, I have to ask, what is what is a pi pirate's favorite tax credit? Well, you know, it's the R and D tax credit. That's right. We That's all right. know. I had, we to all know that. That. I had to plug that. <laughs> of course. Um, I'll coin that. No, but you've never been funny. I'm very serious about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that you're saying that HR is uh, become necessary. Um, on one hand, it's like. You, you, you kind of worry about it. And we've like joked about it for years. Like, I think Sean on our team was like, oh, I am HR. And he like, <laughs> you know, would say the most ridiculous thing. He's like, dude, like, can't I don't do know that. that you can say that anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and now it's like HR is such an asset to have someone. Because I'll tell you, like as a business owner, and I think a lot of other business owners might relate, when your most junior staff is like, hey, like, can I get a raise? And you're like, Right. No one's ever asked me that before. It's, I'm like, it's, it's, it's 9am on a Tuesday, like <laughs> go to work, you know, yeah. but, but like, that's not, that's not the answer. Like you need to have a process to say like, yeah. absolutely. You know, we're going to, we're going to look at this during performance reviews and like, how do you, how do you do that? And like, are, do they think that like 
they're asking me a favor and like oh like miguel's not cool and now i'm internalizing that like we don't want to be a cool boss you know but dude i mean their their confusion is built by growing a company because when it was just us we just went go for it you know ask questions later just do it you know figure it out on your own now it's like we hire someone and you know one of the reasons we did lose the, the lady that we were talking about is what metrics did she have what goals did she have to tell her that hey you're doing a great job hey you hit this and now there's a next growth level for you it's like no you're gonna grow with the company as we go now we're like oh, okay people really need to know there's a next level and how to get there so one of the main things or one of the, the first big things that I undertook was when I got into this new role was what are all of our company processes a through Z what does every single step we do from the from the time an in a uh, lead comes in to the time where a customer is finally happy you know and mm-hmm. then we got to match that to different people's roles and responsibility and say hey this is your position this is what you're responsible for by the way if you do this great here's the goal here's the growth level and now people have clarity now they know okay this is how i get to where i want to go you know i yeah. want to be a director i want to be a vp before that was never something it was just like assumed yeah you're gonna get there yeah yeah no that's a good point and i, I think it highlights this idea that i was talking about with our eos implementer jesse that you know we just got to a point where now everybody knows what their job is like it was crazy to me because i was hiring all these people i don't know we got to like 18 somewhere in the teens and in my head i'm like i know what i hired you for i know what i hired you for so everyone knows what they're doing (laughs) and what was crazy is when people would come into the company like so what do you do and i like heard for the first time i forget uh dylan Dylan was like i don't know (laughs) he's like i don't really i kind of do everything you know i was like (laughs) oh man dylan you're here a long time and actually when he left he's like yeah, so like I created a matrix of responsibilities, and it's gonna take three people to fill my roles. Like, <laughs> Dylan, don't don't tell me that, man. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I don't want to do that. Um, but it's true. And if Dylan, you watch this, um, come back. Yeah, you're, you're invited back. <laughs> um, maybe. Um, <Possibly>. But <laughs> but actually filled your position. <laughs> yeah, actually, your positions your positions are filled, um, and it really is like two or three people. So yeah, I uh, hat off to Dylan, but. You know, what, what What? I told Jesse was like, I think we've told everyone what they need to do. And now people are like, like, what's in it for me? So I'm like, oh, now we got to talk about rewards and recognition. Yeah. So question you, is it, does it ever end? I was going to ask you that. You know, it's <laughs> a lot longer. I mean, I've always been part of big corporations. You know, I was yeah. part of an $18 billion company with you know, hundreds, thousands of employees. Yeah. I was just yeah. a little number in there. So now where everyone sees my face every day and you know, we interact on every single thing. Yeah. How do we, what it does it ever? I don't think it does. I don't know. I think, I think this size is like really challenging and, you know, I empathize with every client or like fellow entrepreneur that's like really trying to go from, I don't know, one to 5 million. I mean, that's kind of like a tough, a tough jump. Like I agree with you. Like I've been with businesses and we know companies that are in that, like, 25 to 50 million you got, you got enough people you've got your cfo you've got you know a a you know cro or like a vp of sales or something you know you've got delivery segmented um but going from like you were saying a couple of um like-minded let's just get shit done group to like oh we need hr is has been uh somewhat of a painful process but i think it's somewhat I think, <laughs> I was gonna, I was going to ask you how did you like documenting all the uh, processes in the company? I mean, when I get time to actually sit down and think about it, it was it wasn't that hard. It was when yeah. I would draft something up, like, "All right, this is the process." Then I would have to talk to like six different people to find out, "Okay, this is the process," but there's also ten steps in every single thing that I wrote that someone needs to be responsible for that. The person who passes off this next responsibility to that person needs to have a trigger to notify them to do it. But then someone also needs to be reviewing to make sure that this person is actually doing the task so that we're not slowing down the entire process, which ultimately slows down the deliverable to the client or whatever we're trying to do. Yeah. Because now we're in the enforcing stage. You know, now we have the processes, we have the roles, we have the company manual, we have HR. Now it's just, hey, are you doing your job or not? And the ones that are that's our next step is like, what's our reward system? How do we, like we promoted one guy recently, but like, what's like a little financial bonus we get from people do things a certain way. Should we give people a bonus for 
doing their job. Like it's like, there's so many business owners are gonna watch this. They're like, <laughs> dude, you get a paycheck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you what do you need over there? Like, you need a pat on the back. And and a, a friend of mine, um, like, told me he's like, yeah, I have a gold, a gold star program. I was like, oh, that's like an interesting name for your you know rewards program. Like, mm-hmm. what do you mean? He's like, no, 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 it's a gold star. An I, I mail star. them a gold star and like people put it on their desk and they like take pictures of like it back in kindergarten like back in kindergarten he's like they love it they love it like i sent someone a gold star and she like took a picture of it and texted to me i'm like motherfucker you're telling me it could be like that cheap you know so um, i think for those business owners that are like you know we, we can't do that we're not big enough it's like well you know when we were talking about earlier like are you catching people doing things right yeah. And honestly, I think it's all about one, having your manager recognize that, but also other people noticing that you're doing your job right. One of my first jobs, um, I started selling a lot more than I should have at the time. Like I just, I, I figured it out and I was selling really well. They got me a little bell because <laughs> they started calling me the closer. And then when I put the bell, every time I hit a sale, like hit your bell. At first, I was like, this is so dumb. I did that first time. I was like, Ooh, <laughs> everyone heard that. Like people it. are perking up and I'm like, okay. So, I mean, I get it. You want yeah. it to be public as well. Yeah. I think at the same time, like at the end of the day, someone kills it, like they should get paid, you know, yeah. like no doubt. And that comes back to like the retention thing. Right. Um, so good. We covered a lot of, I think, amazing things. And I think, you know, this is a case study for anyone watching uh, of what not to do sometimes, but also I think, you know, we can pat ourselves on the back. We figured some things out. We've got mm. the right people, a lot of the right people in the right seats. Um, and uh Thank you as always, man. Cheers. Yeah. But I mean, I got to ask you one question as well before we wrap, because it does all come down from the top. And, you know, when you were the only person I reported to, you were a hell of a manager. I mean, you gave me the best feedback, the best guidance, personal business, everything like that. Yeah. How is your, the way that you manage people, the way that you provide feedback changed as we've grown? Because now you have a lot more people you got to give it to as well. Honestly, I think it's, I think it's more positive. Like I think, um, I think it naturally you figure out that if you want someone to really like bust their ass chewing into them or like saying like you fucked up these seven things is very demotivating and they'll go out and fix it. But, you know, tail between the legs. But she knew that when you were managing me. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Don't hold anything against you. (laughs) Um, No, I mean, you're, you're right. I think, I think, um, you know, now today it's, it's like the same thing. My, my older kid says like, man, like you're such a good dad to the other kids. (laughs) Uh, but no, in all all seriousness, I mean, I think that that happens to everyone. I mean, it's, it's way better to say like, Hey, like you're absolutely crushing it. Like, I love what you're doing. Can we like fix this, these, these seven things over here? Like you pick which one every week and something like that. And I'll just leave it to you. I'm not going to check on you. We'll see if you do it. Some people won't won't touch it. Other people will be like, you know, some people will be like, yo, like that that felt nice. Like I'm going to make sure at least one of these things get addressed. So, um, yeah, no, it's a good question. And uh, I think we're still figuring it out. But yeah, I think this is where we wrap. Cheers, man. Cheers. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>